What's up guys, we have an Orlando Brown Jr. update, and it's not a good one, not a great one, but not an unexpected one, so let's talk about it for a minute here real quick, but first, how about those? What's up guys, my name is Cole, and I do daily news literally every day about the Kansas City Chiefs, so make sure to sub if you're new and haven't seen me before, or if you've watched multiple times and just haven't hit the sub button yet, hit that like button to throw this video out into the algorithm so more Chiefs fans can find this news about Orlando Brown Jr. out. And let's get into this real quick here because I just found out while making my daily vid that Orlando Brown Jr. and the Chiefs could not come to a long-term agreement. I'm gonna look off screen and just read a few tweets to you all here. Tom Pelissero says, Chiefs franchise tagged offensive tackle Orlando Brown Jr.'s agent the rookie, Michael Portner, tells me the sides were not able to reach a long-term deal. Casey offered Brown the highest signing bonus and APY on a six-year deal, but Brown's team decided there wasn't enough security over the life of the deal. Mike Garofolo says that he spoke to Jamal Brown, who is serving as Orlando's mentor, and he said they simply didn't feel comfortable enough with the lack of security in the deal. And just now on Twitter, Ian Rappaport tweeted out, the Chiefs made a strong effort to get the deal done, offering Orlando Brown more based on average per year than Trent Williams. But security and structure were ultimately the main issues. Good tries all around, but he'll play on the tag. So the Chiefs were willing to fully guarantee money for Orlando Brown through next season, but Orlando Brown's camp wanted more security, so no deal for Brown, as expected. He can earn $16.7 million on the franchise tag this season if he signs it before week one. And then Orlando's agent, Michael Portner, could be quoted saying this, we got really close, we were dealing with the Chiefs and we understood their position as well. I'm not gonna let these athletes sign a flashy contract without the substance or security there. So now the question is, when in the heck is this man going to sign his franchise tag? Tinder. Tom Pelissero says Orlando Brown has not signed his $16.7 million franchise tag. Will he show up for the start of Chiefs training camp or week one? Portner said those will be Brown's decisions to make and everything is still being weighed. So just like we thought, they were not able to come to a long-term deal. Probably the best for the Chiefs, especially if they did offer a six-year deal with the highest APY and Orlando Brown still said Nah, fam. Who knows how much money this man really wanted? Holy smokes. So what's next from here? We're going to have to wait and see if Orlando Brown is going to immediately sign this tag or if he's just going to wait. He has until week 10 to do so without real penalty from what I understand, but time is going to tell there. Definitely let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below and be on the lookout for later today when I drop my full daily vid with all sorts of Chiefs news. But yeah. Crazy times. I just hope he signs on the dotted line so we can protect Mahomes' blind side for the 2022 NFL season. So like, sub, all that good stuff. And until next video, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Yeah.